at the let's Global Museum. Can my staff raise your hand, all of you? Along with them, I want to welcome you all to our beloved museum and thank you so very much for joining us on this very special celebration. Um, it's a very important night for us. In addition to thanking my staff, um, I also wanted to, um, who had worked so hard um, on this exhibition, I also want to thank our partners. This is a, you know, a very collaborative uh, project. First, I want to um, thank the, the team at the Columbus Museum of Art. And I will never be able to pronounce your last name, so I won't even No, try. just tell me the <laughs> And also Tyler Tan, Drew Sawyer, and Daniel Marcus over so here. Our amazing co-presenters at NYU Play Gallery that also work really hard to meet capture here and all the team. We really wanted to bring this show to New York. We really wanted this show to open here, but it didn't fit at the, at the museum. And I was like, what's around us? And the gallery was um, 10 minutes away from, yeah, from us. And it was great to see your enthusiasm when we came to you for, with the idea. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I really thank both organizations for um, enthusiastically celebrating the arts and culture in this moment of occasion of our communities. It's very important for us to see so many um, mainstream culture organizations embracing them and the LGBTQ culture. And of course, last but not least, a big thank you to Jonathan Weinberg here at the show. Inspired by the creativity of our artists, empowered by the radical activists that came before us, honoring the struggle of those that we love along the way, and much more importantly, bringing along the marginal communities that at times may have been left out. In doing so, I want to invite each and every one of you to join us in this journey and embrace your own creativity and queerness. We're all queer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll explain to you why. If you Buy me a drink. <laughs> uh, as we celebrate the power of art after Stonewall today and every day, I want to thank you for being here and I want to give the microphone to our partner in time, uh, Linda. Thank you. I'm 
Nafala Gonzalo and asking the Great Art Gallery team to raise their hands. <laughs> the staff and I are thrilled to see this ambitious show open to so much interest and enthusiasm. Our collaboration with the Columbus Museum of Art in Ohio and Jonathan Weinberg and the Leslie Loman Museum has been very gratifying. Both the Great Art Gallery and the Leslie Logan Museum are, of course, located smack in the middle of all the nightclubs, bars, and performance spaces that have long served as incubators for LGBTQ culture. We're also some 10 blocks or so from the original Stonewall Inn. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine more appropriate settings for the exhibition during this momentous 50th anniversary. I'm also extremely proud that NYU has recognized the significance of this anniversary and at the start of the year launched a season of events in honor of Stonewall at 50. Over the years, NYU faculty, administrators, students, and alumni, including the staff of the Great Art Gallery, have engaged with the LGBTQ movement, contributing to groundbreaking changes and at times experiencing heartbreak loss, heartbreaking loss. Indeed, this show is among the key highlights of this university-wide initiative. There are more to come. Please consult the website, nyu.edu backslash Stonewall 50. As NYU's museum, the Gray Art Gallery fittingly has presented many exhibitions that have highlighted the work of queer artists and the issues confronting their communities. In 1988, we organized Rosalind Solomon Portraits in the Time of AIDS, which featured this photographer's portrait series documenting the diverse population of individuals impacted by AIDS. The Gray was the first to show Andy Warhol's work as a commercial illustrator, with the 19, uh, 1989 exhibition, Success and a Job in New York. We've also presented important exhibitions of photographs by Peter Bujar and George Flat Vines, as well as the group exhibition from Media to Metaphor, Art About AIDS in 1994. More recently, we organized a major retrospective of the paintings of Frank Moore, the compelling photographs by the renowned poet Allen Ginsberg, and the first major museum retrospective of the work by Tsipan Chi a prolific artist and key documentarian of Manhattan's Manhattan downtown scene in the 1980s. We are very pleased to host this particular exhibition, especially as it highlights slash known artists and activists of the LGBTQ movement, including women and artists of color. I offer my sincere thanks and congratulations to curator Jonathan Weinberg, Tyler Kahn, and Bruce Sawyer, and to the team at the Columbus Museum of Art, and the Thank you.